Hi, y'all. It's me, y'all. The internet is dead, <laughs> of course. Just waiting all night to start writing on my blog and whoops a daisy. Internet's dead. Anyway, so this is just a quick bonus video where I'm going to show you um, noise removal using Reefer and all that. So that, all that <laughs> no, Reefer and Reaper. And before we start, I'm going to have to mute my audio so you can hear the desktop without my fans because my fans are ridiculous and I apologize, but it's been in the 90s and I have no central heat and air. So Anyway, so first I'm going to show you a test I did that used Reefer's noise removal and used Audacity's noise removal in Uta to make two different samples. So I'm going to mute myself and let you listen to the It's definitely something that you'd have to pay really close attention to. I'll play Audacity once through, and then I'll play Reaper once through, and then I'll uh, act there, you know? And you can go back and re-listen, because that's that. Anyway, so next, um, I'm just going to record something and show you how easy it is to use Reefer. It's, and before I get started and forget, once you get the Reefer settings, how you like it, you can right click and FX chain, save FX as default chain for new tracks, and that will plop whatever reefer settings you have into every new track that's created. If you drag and drop from a folder an entire bank, then it will legit add the noise removal to everything. You don't have to click anything else in Audacity. You have to go through all these steps and but like, you know, apply several things and it's non-destructive. If you don't like it for one sample, you can just do this. Refer is gone. Um, so I'm gonna just move this back here. And I should have been um, recording while I was talking about the reefer and stuff. Um, but you know, and now I'm gonna be really quiet to get a good noise profile. Alrighty, and now we just do this. We want to press this to repeat it. And you can see all this. That's what the noise is. Now we go to subtract and automatically build most noise profile. And as you can see, the noise is building this up. And what this is doing is Reefer will subtract this the profile it built of the noise from the rest of the audio. So I'll turn off Reefer for a sec and I'll turn off my audio and then you can hear the actual thing audio and then I'll turn the Reefer on. Okay. I should have been I'm recording while I was talking about the reefer and stuff. Um, but you know, and now I'm gonna be really quiet to get a good noise profile. I should have been um recording while I was talking about the reefer and stuff. Um, but, you know, and now I'm going to be really quiet to get a good noise profile.
in that last thing I did, I just rendered it off to show the difference in the waveform between before reefer fear and after refair. Of course, you can see here it's completely gone. Like something <laughs> just silly I like to do. I like to um, go to item processing and normalize items and that will literally show you how loud it has to be um, for you to actually hear it. I'm not playing it because that would hurt her ears, but yeah. It gets really quiet. And I'll play the thing again. I should have been um recording while I was talking about the Reaper and stuff. Um, but you know, and now I'm gonna be really quiet to get a good noise profile. I'm biased and I would rather and it would be easier to do every to do noise cancellation in reefer than in audacity also it's reefer who doesn't love that <laughs> reefer but anyway I really don't usually do noise cancellation on Uthos because I'd rather hear noise than the whine but I think Refair does a way better job than Audacity did in the past, and Audacity now does a way better job than Audacity in, did in the past. But yeah, and that's how you do noise cancellation with Refair, and that's kind of how it, how well it works, I guess. I'll talk. Bleh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Bye.